What's going on everyone, Brian here from Native Instruments. In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to find and load your instruments and effects by Native Instruments inside of FL Studio. I have a blank FL Studio project open and I want to load my first instrument. Let's load one of the Play Series instruments, Cloud Supply. I'll click on the Plugins tab in my browser on the left. If you've just installed a handful of instruments in Native Access, you'll need FL Studio to scan your plugins folder. I'll go to Options at the top and select Manage Plugins. I'll click Find Installed Plugins and wait until FL finishes the scan. Once it's done, I can now close out of this window. I'll click on Plugins, Installed, Generators, and VST3. Don't worry if you don't see everything you installed from Native Access in this list. Some of the instruments you installed like Cloud Supply are contact instruments. Contact is a sampler and is used to run many NI instruments. If you haven't yet, make sure you install Contact from Native Access as you won't be able to load some of the instruments without it. I'll find Contact in the browser and drag it onto track 1. As you can see in Contact's browser, there are a handful of contact libraries I've installed from Native Access. The list on the right is currently showing me all of the presets across all of my contact instruments. You can either filter by sound type, character, or brand, or even select an individual library in the browser below. Let's load the Play Series instrument Cloud Supply. I'll click Cloud Supply, and now the presets list on the right is only showing me presets specifically for this instrument. When clicking on any of these, we hear a preview of what this sounds like. Just double click it, and now the sound is loaded. If you want a different sound or instrument, click the library button, select a new instrument or preset, and double click to load. For a more detailed overview of Contact, check out the How to Use Everything in Contact video which is linked below. Let's load up Massive X. I'll go back to FL's plugin browser and drag Massive X onto track 2. Now that it's loaded, we can hear some sound. If you want to change the preset, click the preset name at the top and you can select from a wide range of sound categories and then select another preset. Depending on what you've purchased, there are Massive X expansions which are additional packs of presets specifically for Massive X. Those you can find by clicking here and selecting one of the expansions below. Also check out the how to use everything in Massive X to learn the ins and outs of this synth. Let's get some drums in here. I'll find battery in the browser and drag it onto track 3. The browser on the left in battery is where all of your battery kits are located. Just double click on any of the kit names to load a drum kit. The last thing I want to add to my instruments are some effects, and one of my personal favorite reverbs to use is ROM. Let's go back to the Cloud Supply track. I'll select Effects, VST3, and drag ROM onto track 1. Even the default ROM settings sound great. From here, you can tweak the knobs to customize how the effect sounds, or you can choose from a wide range of ROM presets. Click the preset name at the top, Factory Presets, select a reverb category like Creative, and then select one of the presets. Music 
After creating some music using your instruments and effects, you may want to master your track to get it sounding as loud and clean as possible. That's where Ozone comes in. I'll select the master channel in the mixer below, select slot 1, and then More Plugins. We'll search for Ozone and double click to load. Select from a wide range of mastering presets like depth and clarity in all purpose mastering or genre specific chains. Or you can use Ozone's Master Assistant. Play back the loudest part of your track, and Ozone will create a custom mastering chain specifically for your track. If you want to know more about Ozone and mastering, we have a How to Use Everything in Ozone, which is linked below. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of how to find your instruments and effects inside of FL Studio. For a more detailed overview of each individual instrument, make sure you check out our product walkthrough tutorials. Thanks for watching.